I think for me personally, and this is, uh, I can only speak for myself, uh, it's an incredible opportunity uh, to connect with, with uh, um, the crowd that music was meant to be. So I love the fact that, and, and I insisted on bringing Beethoven's Seventh Symphony to this because Beethoven's Seventh Symphony was written at a time where um, we all remember the story about the Third Symphony and the fact that he initially dedicated it to Napoleon. Then when Napoleon crowned himself emperor, he erased the uh, dedication from the front page. Wonderful. What we forget is the fact that almost 10 years later, uh, after the first battle that defeated Napoleon's army, uh, Beethoven had been waiting for an opportunity to premiere a new symphony. He had already written the Seventh Symphony and was waiting for an opportunity to premiere it. And he found this to be the right opportunity. He created a concert that the profit, the benefits from the entire concert, he donated to those that were wounded in this first battle that defeated Napoleon. I think the statement of Napoleon sort of cre giving this piece to freedom and to peace and to the idea of of being free from oppression. Beethoven, and you mean, right? Beethoven, yes. You Did said I, Napoleon. Oh, yeah. Napoleon, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Beethoven, <laughs> uh, 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 being free from Napoleon's oppression. Um, you know, the idea of this, uh, uh, of this sort of music that it's greater than our own self, um, it's the perfect way for us to be able to meet people that perhaps don't have the opportunity to come and hear the Chicago Symphony in the main season, uh, downtown Chicago or you know I have little kids as well there are so many times that people not because they don't want to but life does not afford them that possibility to be able to come and enjoy a concert so this is a perfect setting it's great music it's music that speaks about hope humanity peace and and freedom and here it is presented in the most beautiful nature surroundings um, and people can just come and hear it and enjoy it. I mean, how much more perfect than that is? And that, to me, is what music is all about. That's what our art form is supposed to do, bring people together and help them dream of better things, help them hope of better things, and help them understand more beautiful concepts. It's kid-friendly, right? Kids can come. Yeah, little kids. I mean, that is a frustrating thing for uh, parents, finding an appropriate environment for little kids to hear great music at whatever level they mm -hmm. they uh, absorb it and take it in um, do you do you hope to see lots of little wiggly kids out there i hope so of course i i i, I love to see little kids in the audience and in fact it, it 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 really tickles me and i love it when they i hear them laughing or even if when they're crying i mean i i'm not happy because they're crying but i happy i'm happy because i hear their voice you know and i hear their response i love to hear kids respond to music i think it's so crucial and uh this is a perfect environment and a perfect opportunity to experience that i mean it it might be intimidating to come to a concert uh, and bring your kids you know to come and make them sit in a concert hall where people are there experiencing music on a different level um, but this is a perfect opportunity where they're uh, you know in the nature again uh, the birds will be accompanying us hopefully you know and and uh, so why not the kids great and uh any recommendations for parents introducing music like this to little kids? No, just find whatever. I find that kids that have not experienced many types of music will be a lot more open-minded than their parents. So <laughs> it's actually more about the parents being willing to, to explore alongside their kids than about the kids themselves.